Hey Spooksters! Sarah Sinister back with another video. Today I wanted to tell you guys the spooky tale of my old apartment. About four years ago before I moved into this place, I stayed in an apartment for about two years and some really really spooky scary things happened there and I wanted to share it with you guys. When we first moved in, we never really had any activity um, that I noticed. The building you could definitely tell it was older and it was kind of almost crooked in a way like the walls were not perfectly straight, the floors were kind of you know bowing a little bit in certain areas but the apartment itself was really really large and it was just some a place that I kind of put my heart into when I first moved in like I kind of did some renovations in the kitchen so in the bathroom we had a hatch that was over the tub and you have to actually push the big wooden hatch up about a foot to slide it over to even open the hatch which is something that I just can't do physically because I'm not tall enough and I don't have the strength to do it late one afternoon my boyfriend and my roommate decide that they are going to climb up into that crawl space and investigate. Red flag number one. I instantly felt sick when they told me this, like I did not want them getting up there. Nah, -uh. did I told them that right from the get go, told them that they shouldn't do it. They don't listen to me and of course they get up there and they find some boxes. And in these old cardboard boxes, there's like rat droppings or, or mouse droppings, probably mice there's some you know debris nothing really legible and then there's some shoes like there's a pair of shoes and these shoes look old they're like white shoes and they were they look like they were from like the 20s or the 30s I don't I'm not a shoe expert I have no idea when I didn't take a picture, I didn't think to take a picture, I was freaked out by the whole ordeal. They threw the shoe in the trash and I told them not to touch anymore because it was covered in mice droppings and I didn't want them to like touch that, it was gross, whatever. So they were going to throw the box away but I told them to put the shoe back in the box and to put it back up there because I just felt weird. And so I took the shoe out of the trash, I put it back in the box, and I had them put it back up in the crawl space and close the crawl space. So after that, I get, you know, just weird feelings. Days go by, and I come home one day to the hatch being open. I don't know who opened it. I don't know how it got open. My boyfriend swears he didn't open it. Definitely made me nervous, and... I don't know if my roommate was messing with me, could have been, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, at this point, it happened more and more frequently. And there was times that no one was home and I was home by myself that it happened. So even if my roommate was messing with me on certain occasions, which I'm sure at one point he thought it was funny and did there were occasions where the hatch opened and I was home by myself and there's no way, no way that anybody snuck in the house to open it because I would have known. You have to walk directly in front of my vision from where I'm sitting in the living room at all times when I'm home or in the kitchen. You'd have to walk directly by me. I'd see you if you walked into the bathroom and opened the hatch and I'd hear you. You have to get up on the side of the tub get up there push it up and like slide it it's just it's noisy it's hard to do it's something that you can't do without me noticing so somehow the hatch just mysteriously is open honestly it baffles me how it happened some of the occasions that it happened one night I had to work an overnight shift and my boyfriend was sleeping and that morning I came home and when he woke up he told me that he couldn't find his phone. 
He claimed that he felt like somebody had walked into the room and taken his phone, but he was asleep so he didn't really notice. He just saw kind of like a shadow, but he could have been dreaming. He wasn't sure. This could have happened. Somebody could have, because I'm pretty sure that um, my roommate was home at the time. He could have had somebody over. You'll understand in a minute why that would be kind of unlikely. Um, again, the home that we live in was kind of old and rickety, so when you walked on the floors, you made creaking noises pretty loudly, and the doorknobs were the jiggly kind that, you know, made noise. He slept with the door closed, of course, and we also had a latch on the door because sometimes the doors would pop open because the, do the doors and stuff weren't completely level. So we had a metal latch, so even if our doorknob popped open, the latch would stop it from opening. Now, the latch, of course, isn't foolproof. You can stick like a pencil or your finger, if you're careful, underneath and pop the latch, of course. Anybody knows that you can do that, but of course that makes a loud clicking noise, which would have woken my boyfriend up had he have heard that, because he definitely would have heard it. He doesn't remember hearing that noise. The door was closed when I came home. I had to pop the door myself. So when I woke him up and he came to and described to me that his phone was missing, he couldn't find his phone, I decided to call his phone to try to find it. So faintly in the distance, I hear his phone and we slowly follow the sound. And of course, it's coming from the crawl space. The crawl space was still closed. The phone was inside the crawl space. My boyfriend had to open the crawl space to get up inside. He ended up using the light from my phone to search the crawl space to find his phone stuffed in the insulation. He quickly snatched it out of the insulation and came down covered in debris and we closed the crawl space, we shut the door, and we kept the door closed on the bathroom. Of course I had to install a latch on that door as well to be able to keep the bathroom door closed. A few days go by and of course our opposite shifts make it so we have to be home alone sometimes. It just happens. And of course my roommate works as well so a lot of the times I'm home alone. On this particular day I was home alone and I decided that I was going to text a selfie so I was in the living room and I'm going to give you an idea of what the living room and stuff looks like so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. Where I was sitting on my couch in the living room and taking this picture, right behind me was the entrance to the kitchen and the, the divider doorway is all glass. So it's a, a glass door and of course it has the little bars on it that do like the crisscrossing. So when I was taking this selfie, of course, the reflection of my phone caught in the glass behind me. So, in this photo that I am going to show you guys in a minute, you're going to see a reflection of my phone and my face in the glass behind me. Now, a lot of people are going to say that it's just my reflection, that it's not really a, a, you know, a spirit or whatever. The reflection in the glass is completely separate from what I'm going to show you in the photo in a minute. Just putting that out there so you realize before I get a bunch of comments going, well, it's this, and I have to explain in long paragraphs instead of just doing it in a video. So I'm sitting on the couch and I go to snap my selfie, and I was going to put it along with a text message, of course, and off in the distance, if you look through the kitchen, because the kitchen and the bathroom door and the bathroom window which overlooks the roof. So of course there couldn't have been anybody out the window unless they had some specialty ladder or they were floating, right? So from where I was sitting and taking the picture, you could see straight through to the bathroom window. And in the bathroom window, there's a lady floating there. I'm not kidding. I swear to God, you guys, floating there outside the window, looking at me, and I'm by myself. 
I saw it like right away because I instantly go like I didn't even think about it when I took the picture that you could see into the bathroom you don't think about that when you're all the way across the house but because it was such a straight shot you could see all the way through and I saw it right away because of course instinctively I, I look there it freaks me out just to think about it like I was home alone I think I ended up actually leaving the house and going down to visit my boyfriend at work because I was that freaked out but I'm going to show you the photo and I'm also gonna try to do like a zoom in hopefully it's not too pixelated because I did um, use my cell phone at the time and of course it was all the way across the house so it was not a very good picture, but I'll do my best to zoom in for you. So take a look at that for a second and let me know what you think because it's pretty crazy. So after that, things continued to just escalate and feel really awful, awful energy. And I just, things went down. I ended up actually going through divorce and a bunch of stuff was just negative in my life and I ended up moving into the place that I'm currently in now and I couldn't be happier to be away from that crazy crazy nonsense so let me know what you guys think leave me a comment be kind to each other when you do and give this video a like and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it would make me super happy and it helps me out so much I hope you guys have a good rest of your day stay spooky